All right. Uh, well, welcome everybody to today's uh, webinar. We're going to be getting started in just a minute. Some uh, give a uh, little bit more time for a couple people to log on uh, who wanted to be part of this, but we will be starting any minute. All right. All right, so I think we're good to go. We're going to get started here. Um, now, today's webinar is about the Tron release, um, which is our most recent release for Jared Engine. As you know, every month uh, we release updates with new features and bug fixes, uh, and there's some things to highlight and show to you. The big change this particular release, uh, which took place on October 15th, was um, around subscriptions. Uh, for those of you familiar with utilizing subscriptions um, in Charity Engine, it was one button and one tab, and it's actually been split into a number of different capabilities. So we're going to go ahead and walk through primarily that today. Um, if there are other questions you have about things you've noticed in the new release, uh, feel free to go ahead and reach out to us. I'm happy to explain them, whether it's on this webinar or directly through support. But um, the, uh, the big change being around subscriptions, we wanted to be very clear about where you can, uh, uh, so you can fully understand what we have here. So we're going to get started. Um, this is, again, the guide to new terminology for subscriptions. And you'll notice that the big change is that it's now sustainers, pledges, and members. So we've eliminated the term subscriptions, and we've divided it into three sections. Again, sustainers, pledges, and memberships. So, uh, and what you're looking at right now is actually, um, instead of a normal presentation we do, uh, this is a document we created to explain the changes. I want to walk you through it. Um, perhaps there's people in your organization who aren't listening in today or who um, would need to know more about this. And I will, uh, at the end of this, point you to where you can download this document. So I thought it was more important to walk you through the document um, so you can explain it to your teams. Uh, if you have any questions at the end, obviously feel free to use the questions, uh, the questions feature. Um, so again, um, so prior to the most recent uh, release, we referred to any recurring payment in the software as subscriptions. And that was whether it was for sustainers who were doing monthly giving, uh, pledges, or for membership management. And subscriptions was found in the donor's contact record next to the transaction tab, which is in the interactions tab. So you should be familiar with where the interactions tab uh, is on a donor's record. Um, and again, so that normally said subscriptions. But you, now you'll see when you look at it, it's next to transactions. It says pledges, sustainers, and memberships. So those are the three unique functions and ways to look at people who typically are uh, ongoing or recurring participants in your organization. So what's changed? We're going to break down what each of these things is. Um, so the first is sustainers. Uh, you can see that in the top or center, more center left. Um, subscriptions will by and large become sustainers. And these are your individuals who donate on a monthly basis or some other interval. It might be quarterly, it might be annually, but you know that um, over they're going to be recurring and they're going to be regularly uh, providing you some sort of uh, donation. Pledges is going to primarily be used to track pledge money that may not come on a regular basis. And this will help represent when a business or an individual has pledged a certain amount to you, but it doesn't require that the payments be automatically processed at that moment. So um, that's sort of the difference. Sustainers is ongoing. It's just we're charging their credit card or billing them on a regular basis. Pledges is they're saying you can expect this donation or this pledged money, um, but the intervals with which it will come might be manually uh, managed, although it can be um, automatically set up. And the last uh, division here is memberships, and this reflects a recurring membership fee. So these could be affiliated agencies or annual payments to your organization that provide a benefit to the donor. Um, maybe they, uh, as a member, uh, they have access to special events. They might receive a newsletter or magazine. They might receive discounts at an e-commerce or, or, uh, or brick and mortar store. So thinking of that as a different thing, um, and that should make sense. 
So we're going to dive a little bit into each one. And again, this is just an overview of what each of these means. Um, you'll have this document available to you. And if you need to know more um, and how to utilize it, of course, feel free to reach out to client services at any time. So sustainers, again, these are people who donate on a recurring basis with no set end date. Um, sustainers, and just so you're aware, it may sometimes still display as subscription. You notice that on this record for Charles Harrison, it still says subscription. Uh, there are certain areas where that's still being um, uh, being utilized or it hasn't fully changed over in the system. But just so you're aware that usually that means sustainer. Uh, and these are people who are re recurring on an ongoing basis via automated credit card processing or ACH, automated clearinghouse, which is when you pull directly from a bank account. Um, so those are those are those kind of uh, relationships. Um, so monthly giving programs, if you have one, those are usually the sustainers. Um, the frequency of giving, as I said, can be set up during setup. It changed afterwards. Um, an end date can be applied if desired. Um, but for the most part, whatever your frequency of recurring is, that's what that is. Uh, and for those who use our credit card automatic updating service, this will still work with that. Uh, if you're not currently using it, but you do have a monthly giving program or sustainers, you may want to reach out to us to find out a little bit more um, because uh, uh, credit card automatic updating is so important. Uh, real high percentages of credit cards um, expire or turn over every month, and you don't want to lose a regular donation uh, because you weren't able to uh, to update the credit card in the system. Um, it sounds, uh, you know, it, it actually benefits the the donor because uh, for frustration purposes, uh, they don't have to call you with their credit card and update it. They just want it taken care of automatically, and um, our CCA US service does that. So those are sustainers, again, people who donate on a recurring basis. Pledges are money that may be processed incrementally, incrementally but with a given end. Um, so if a donor pledges a donation, again, processing can be set as manual or automated, and you can accept any sort of payment, credit card, ACH, check, et cetera. Uh, and the images you're looking at here show the general tab for creating a pledge and the fields for setting up the payment schedule. So what you see on the left, again, is sort of what you would expect to see on a new pledge, uh, the amount uh, the amount that's tax deductible, if that, uh, if that is a variance, um, the category, and any kind of code that might be applied, the form that they came in, if that's, uh, if that's part of it. So that's where you would initially set up that pledge that comes in. Um, contact, obviously, is where you connect it to the individual. And then scheduling it, uh, so this can be set up auto or manually. Uh, if it is auto, you set up the frequency, the start date, the end date. Um, and then it can be paused as well. So you have a paused uh, until capability. And reset cycle date, so if you need to start over um, and set them at a date in the future and not retroactively charge them, uh, that allows you to do that. Some people say, you know, charge me for everything I'm missing down the line. Uh, for, charge me for anything I might have missed. I need to hold off payments for a little bit, but I'll get to you later. In which case, they'll, you'll, you'll retroactively and get the you retroactively get money that was pr pledged and promised. A uh, reset cycle date just says, uh, you know, start start me over on this date moving forward. Um, and then memberships. Again, these are annual recurring dues that provide benefits to an individual. Um, memberships reflect a recurring membership fee or dues, and these could be affiliated agencies, as I mentioned, annual payments to your organization that provide a benefit to the donor. Um, so this kind of payment processing can be set as manual or automated. So what we see on the left, again, is a new member uh, when you're setting somebody up. Um, the type of member that they are part of, uh, the amount of the membership, any tax deductible. Obviously, if they're getting a newsletter, that would reduce their uh, the tax deductibility of their donation. The category, uh, status, if you're applying that. Funds, if the, the funds for this are going to a specific fund, that can be directed there. And GL codes um, can be set up as well, so you're tracking uh, particular general ledger codes for new members. And um, you can see on in that capability. That is custom set. Whatever your process is, that should have already been set up in Charity Engine for you. If not, we can go back and make sure you're applying that correctly. Uh, and then it shows the form that they, they signed up on just so you can attribute the new memberships to the form. Um, and then on the right, we see another field 
uh, uh, sorry, another tab, and that's schedule. And just like the previous one, it allows you to manually or automatically schedule any payments related. Um, so that's it. Again, this is a, certainly a short webinar uh, because this was the biggest change that we found uh, took place in this this recent release and might have been a little confusing to people who are used to using subscriptions. Uh, if you want to download this document for yourself so you can share it with your team, go to click.charityengine.net forward slash subscriptions guide. Uh, enter that into your URL and it should take you directly to this PDF which you can download. Um, so a short webinar today, just wanted to make sure that you were very clear on what changed there um, and uh, and uh, any changes that were confusing or why why you saw those new features in the, uh, in the software. Uh, looks like it was pretty clear, no questions today from anybody. So um, if you do have any questions, always feel, out, feel free to reach out to me, Lee Kessler. Uh, and you can just use marketing at charityengine.net, and that goes directly to me. Happy to answer any questions. Thanks for participating. Thanks for signing on, and uh, hope that everything is going great in your work with Charity Engine. Take care, everybody.